In a public ceremony today, Admiral Yusuko commended the bravery of the naval crews that have been risking their lives containing the Hatters flu outbreak on New Devonport. As we enter the fourth week of the crisis, the infrastructure on New Devonport continues to crumble, leaving many without food, water or medical care. Government scientists say there are no closer to finding a cure to the plague that has affected the colony. So far, there have been no reports of Hatter's flu on other worlds, but public health officials urge anyone experiencing dizziness, nausea, loss of memory, or sudden unexplained aggression to get tested immediately. I'm here to hand deliver a package to the warden. You had better call a medic. Whoa, whoa, uh, what, what's the rush? Another problem in the political prisoner's wing. That man was here again. You know what he's like. Oh, yeah, him. Almost makes you feel bad for the traitor cat or Kathy or whatever. She's his new favorite toy these days. Ten to one, she's why they called me. Well, I uh, guess you better hurry then. Gotta get you out of here. Let me give you something. She's going to need surgery. I'll have to take her. Grab his gun, we gotta go. Code red, prisoner 17 has escaped. Repeat, prisoner 17 has escaped. Give me their location. Suspicious. You can bet he doesn't have to worry about looking suspicious. Warden 
and it's set. Prison was infiltrated. Catherine escaped. Did she? That is unfortunate. The Hatter's Flu cover story will be blown. I thought we'd have some more time before the public discovered the alien virus only affects plants. But so be it. Move to plan B. Sir, the city recon team just sent word. What was the report, Private DeLosa? Increased activity from the spaceport. More shuttles launching into orbit than usual. Uh, sounds like something's going on at the shipyards. We'd better make sure. Gather the troops. We've got a mission ahead of us. Yes, sir. Now to our top story. It's been nine days since the strike negotiations began, and the miners are remaining steadfast in their demands. We now go live to our correspondent on Titan. I've just been told that a troop transport has landed, and Marines are moving towards the mining facilities. You should be seeing it now from the camera crew we have there. This is a fictional account of what happened on Titan designed to rally support for our cause so that we can break the blockade from New Devonport. What do you think? It's a good idea, but there's one thing I don't like about it. Why, what's wrong? The Catherine in it doesn't look or sound anything like me. If anything, she sounds like the Admiral behind all of this. We were in a hurry. We had to get it done, we had to make do. I could at least dub my voice over hers. No time. We have to put this on SBC now. The faster we can get this done and get away from Earth and Yasuko's minions, the better. Man, here's the situation. Reports indicate the enemy is preparing their fleet for another engagement. Looking for more space death like a bunch of barbarians. So let's make damn sure they don't get that chance. I'll need five volunteers. Good man. Your mission is to infiltrate the spaceport. Each of you will get aboard a shuttle to a different ship and once there, you will take every opportunity to sabotage their fleet. Above all, you must remain undetected. If your mission fails, and there is a full-scale engagement, then your priority is to cause maximum damage, even if it means breaking cover. Any questions? Now, I don't have to tell you that in all likelihood this is a one-way mission. 
don't expect mercy if you're caught. You make me proud, soldiers. Always ready to do your duty. Gear up and be ready in 30. Dismissed. You wanted to see me, Admiral? Am I about to get an exclusive? Nothing so pleasant. We are here because we have reason to believe a known terrorist is on the planet and may attempt to enlist your support. Why would a terrorist want my help? It is someone we know you to be acquainted with. Miss McDonald. She's a terrorist? She was on New Devonport until recently. She's infected with the Hatter's flu. Nothing about that bitch would surprise me. You know that the symptoms include mood swings, irrational behavior, aggression. I'm afraid it's even worse for Catherine after her experiences on Titan. She's completely psychotic, a danger to herself and others. She needs to be contained and given appropriate medical attention. She hasn't come here, but I'll call your office if she makes contact. Thank you, Miss Anderson. I'm certain you'll think of Earth and do what's right. This is, of course, highly confidential at the request of Catherine's mother. Her mother? In that case, this is one story I won't be airing. I'll do what I can. Your discretion is appreciated. I will be leaving my assistant to help secure the building. This doesn't seem like the best way in. Would you rather take the heavily guarded front door? Well, at least it wouldn't smell so bad. I almost wish I was back in prison. Well, almost. It's an abandoned line. At least we're going to go unnoticed. Here we go. Oh, great. No elevator. You all know you're assigned targets. Get to it. Papers. You're not from New Davenport. I was stranded here after the battle. Thought I'd volunteer. Whatever. Get aboard. The shuttle is about to launch. I thought you worked at the SBC too. It's this way. I, I did. Just not here. Here. Not in the news department. Ugh, come on. I'll lead. It's in here. They're here. You'd better hurry. I think they're about to cause a great deal of trouble. To the citizens of the other colonies, I'm Governor Mackenzie of New Devonport. I'm speaking to you because Earth has lied to you, to all of us. We discovered secret plans to devastate any colony that disagrees with government policy. And when we disagreed, they sent ships to attack us. We survived and pushed them back. Their plans to destroy our self-sufficiency failed. Now it is time for everyone to know what is going on. Every world is under threat from a corrupt government. It happened on Titan, it nearly happened to us, and it could happen to you. Following this message is an account of events at that mining colony. 
the people involved won't be happy about the truth being uncovered. They don't want you to see. I beg all of you watching this transmission to rise up against the government and free yourselves. The citizens of the other colonies. I'm Governor Mackenzie of New Delhi. All right, that'll keep looping until someone realizes what happened and pulls the plug. Too late. Let's get out of here. It's him! Split up! I'll see you back at the ship. You go after her. I'm not one of your- Just do it. You can't stop what we've started. Then you shall be held accountable. Target Bravo secured. Catherine. Why are you helping him? They said you're sick. That you're a terrorist. In my mind, that explains a lot. I'm not sick, Diane. I just discovered the true lengths that the government will go to in order to keep control of the colonies. Catherine, that's insane. There's no government conspiracy. The Assembly has always taken care of its people. Only on Earth. It took care of Titan in a very different way. Please. You have the Hatter's flu. It's making you see things. Come with me and we'll get you help. We can make all this terror go away. Am I imagining this, too? What? What have you done to yourself? I didn't do this. That man you're helping did it to me. He's the same one who blew up Titan. He's the sick one. Go. I'll tell him the door's closed before I can stop you. Thanks. Maybe there's still some decent people in this world after all. Target Alpha, returning to Nast. Mom! Oh, Catherine. What have they done to you? The VIP treatment from one of the government's five-star facilities. I thought you'd try to make it here after the news said you're a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist! I know you're not. I tried to stop that story going out, but they've already cut my access to SBC. They'll know you're here. We'll come for us soon. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. You did the right thing. All teams move in. What are we going to do? You need to get to New Devonport. You'll be safe there. Keep searching. She must be here somewhere. We'll each take a ship. It should split the attention of any pursuers. But Catherine, I can't come with you. Mom? I need some answers first. I'll know where to find you. We need to go. They'll be here any moment. Tuck 
Alpha is in flight. Acknowledged. Air support. Move to intercept. Shouldn't we be going up? Don't worry, they won't shoot at us while there's a chance they'll hit a building. Stay here forever. Just trust me. Strazinski and Slayer, one of the ships is making a run towards your position. Assume blockade formation. Prime Minister, now is not the time. What the hell are you doing up there? Saving your government. Admiral. The damage you have done to my administration's approval ratings. Under no circumstances destroy a ship in sight of Earth. The people hate to see souls lost to space so close to home. If you do not allow me to control the- You've had enough control already. The planet is in a panic after you took down the entire communications network. Minister, listen to me the way that you have been tying my hands. <laughs> Got more interceptors inbound. Dead ahead. Two cruisers right behind them. Why aren't they firing? Hold on, prepare for jump. I sure hope Mom makes it. I'm sorry, Admiral. My conscience is clear. I have warned the Prime Minister again and again. We can only do so much with his disapproving stare on us. He is naive. I can only pray that he will be disabused of his naivete before all the colonies tire of supporting their aging parent planet. They will all betray us if we close our eyes and pretend everything is fine. Like this one did. I imagine he knows what the rebels intend to do next. And I'm sure you can get him to share that information with us. You never disappoint me. I wondered where you were. Help me. His brother was a titan. You started a war! You can't stop what we started. The smoke of the others Once we discovered that our prisoner was related to the captain of the ship I destroyed several months ago, he was easy to break. What did he tell you? Not much. Apparently the governor expected Ethan's mission to result in either death or capture. <laughs> Perceptive of him. Indeed. Even though he lacked details, the plan was to rally enough support with their broadcast that the blockade could be broken. And presumably they would want some kind of justice. That was my assumption as well. Which makes this diplomatic function rather frustrating. The Prime Minister expects me to attend, but I'd much rather be preparing for the trouble that is to come. Looking like that, you will definitely encourage the diplomats to remain loyal to Earth. 
Um, Admiral. I suppose you are an expert in loyalty. To Earth. Yes, to Earth. I had better take care of that other business. And now a repeat of our top story. Officials representing the colonies have gathered this evening for a special function. The move is expected to reassure citizens that Earth maintains good relations with them while the new Devonport situation continues. I turn you over to Peter Clark for the weather. Like what you saw? Yes. Perhaps we should go to your office. Getting straight to it, I see. Admiral, might I introduce you to Miss Montague of the Elmore Mining Corporation? She's been making sure we're well stocked with Yukasak over the last few months. Titan's destruction was such a tragedy. It is putting some strain on our production capabilities, but we do what we must for our government. For the good of Earth. Exactly. I was just telling John that. It's good to see who is still loyal, given recent events. Unfortunate events but soon to be resolved. Good. Might I interest you in a dance? Of course. Please excuse us. So what brings you all the way over here to see me? As you know, SPC lacks real leadership since Cynthia was discovered to be in the same terrorist organization as her daughter. That came as such a shock. Indeed. We have decided you are the best person to take over the job. Me? Surely one of the executives would be better. Better qualified, yes. But we do not know who else is in league with Cynthia. You have shown us you are loyal to Earth and you've been a great help in our efforts to maintain security and calm on the colonies with your judicious reporting. So we've made arrangements. Even though I don't know a thing about running a broadcasting company. We will assist you as needed. Your focus should be on making sure the nightly news stays palatable, so not to cause further panic. Wait. Yes? This promotion calls for a celebration. Would you care to join me for dinner? Ah, no. Perhaps another time. Screw you too, buddy. I took care of the SPC situation. Yes, I saw the surveillance footage. Given her behavior toward you, perhaps it is better if I deal with her in the future? She was no trouble. We'll see. For now, we should prepare for New Devonport's next move. Still not reading anything unusual. Same Alpha 2, but stay sharp. You saw the transmission. Some media is bound to cause trouble. Stupidity is always a safe bet. Hellstorm Alpha 2, still nothing to report. Copy that, 2. Continue patrol. Alpha Wing reports all quiet, Captain. It's only a matter of time. More lives, more souls lost. I'm getting a reading. Six ships jumping in. Alert the fleet. Find out which of the intruders is the leader. All hands, battle stations. I am Captain Cobus, and we are here to break this unlawful blockade of New Devonport. Captain Cobus, you're a fine one to talk about unlawful behavior. Good, my reputation precedes me. 
You will stand down and return to Earth immediately, or we will open fire. This system is under quarantine, and there is a standing warrant for your arrest. Our ships outnumber and outmatch yours. We'll see, Captain. Why would a pirate like him come here? I thought he operated near Elmore. Probably hoping to exploit the situation. Launch the remaining fighters. ships. Target the enemy's sensors and weapons. Disable only. Do everything you can to prevent more needless destruction. Bastards! Captain! Request permission to use lethal force. We are the only one fighting with that handicap out here. We'll be better than lawless pirates. Hold your ground. Disable only! They are targeting the interdiction field generator. Come around and take out their weapons. Copy, lead. Yes, I see it! I see it! Lead, more ships incoming. Trajectory indicates new Devonport origin. And that's what I would have done too. Captain Cobus is signaling again. Put him through. Heyman, are you really going to fight to the bitter end? You have ten minutes to be gone or we'll resume the attack. Admiral? Uh, sorry to disturb you at this hour. This better be important. The new Devonport fleet has just contacted us. They'll be arriving back in system soon. What? They say they were ambushed by a fleet of mercenary ships who destroyed their interdiction field. I can send you a complete report. Do so. I'll be returning to the Praetorian within the hour. Yasuko out. We have a lot of work ahead of us. It started, hasn't it? We all know why we're here. To stand up against the extreme measures put in place by the government and the injustices caused by them. The question is, what should we do next? You declared war on Earth after they attacked this planet the first time. But that didn't work. They just blamed it on the virus, calling it Hatter's Flu. Of course it didn't work. They knew you were bluffing. If we want a revolution, we really have to want it. Our path is clear. We strike back at Earth directly. The bloodshed is the only thing that will get us our freedom. I agree. Catherine, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. What do you think? I've seen just how little they think people are worth. These are proof. War is upon us. 
We either take it to them or they will come back here with greater numbers. We are better than they are. We need to attack the government, not Earth. I think so too. We will go after the government, undermine everything they do, but I will not tolerate unnecessary violence. This needs to be as clean a fight as possible. We need to start formulating strategies. The road to victory is not a straight line. We should try to gather more support. Ethan gave his life to try and get your broadcast out, but we'd barely gotten it on air before it was shut down. I don't have any of the codes out, but maybe we together we can hack some of the booster satellites. The, the government might stand down if the people know what's really going on here. Excellent, yes. Get on that as soon as we're done here. This is what I propose. Catherine, we need to talk. I could not believe it when I heard you had arrived here on the station. The infamous Warash, I presume? I see spreading government propaganda at SBC hasn't dulled your eye for the truth. What do you want? I am aware of your situation. Wanted by the government on charges of terrorism. I'm not a terrorist. Keep your voice down. The music is only so loud. And no, I don't believe you are. You still haven't said why you're bothering me. I can provide you with shelter. But in exchange, you will work for me. Or you can keep running on until the authorities catch up with you. What do you know about the disaster on Titan? Destroyed when the reactor malfunctioned. You should know. You put the story out. Don't play games with me. You know more than that. What if I do? Why should I tell you? Fine. What do you want me to do? First, change your appearance. Those clothes don't belong on crossroads. Then we will find you accommodation. This is not what I expected. They never let you see the boring side of the job today. No. Look at all this. It's ridiculous. How am I supposed to decide what to broadcast? Oh, hold on. Someone is attempting to hijack our news feed. I'm sorry for interrupting your regular evening news, but there are things going on that you need to know, and SBC won't be covering it truthfully. She's not going to I like this. I am here on New hmm? and the stories you've been told Nothing. about the plague causing Go down to the broadcast control lies. room. Take care of this. I'm fine. My friend here behind the camera is fine. Everyone on the planet is fine. Owen Carter. New Devonport no need to rush. Understood. Stand up against those plans. You deserve the truth, and I am here to tell it to you. I need to see the Prime Minister immediately. Admiral. Be advised that we've just contained another situation with an attempted hijacking of SBC's newsfeed. We bottled it up before anything could get through. The network itself was regrettably slow in responding. Stay on it. Ah, uh, Admiral. We have an urgent situation to discuss. I know what you're going to say. Miss Montague and I have already discussed the matter. I can assure you 
The Elmore Mining Corporation has no interest in taking sides in this conflict. We will continue to supply your forces with all the Ukasik you require. You see? As good as her word. If you will excuse me, I need to make arrangements for extra security on the shipments. You are a damn fool. Every day the price of Ukasic fuel rises while she has sole monopoly over its production. The blockade on New Davenport has crumbled. I was informed moments ago of yet another attempt to air anti-government propaganda by the terrorist that you forced me to not fire upon when we had her. The flood is coming and Earth is drowning. And you sit here playing footsie with a woman who is practically mugging you with the fuel prices she names. What? I told you that this would happen. Untie my hands, minister. Admiral, your methods are most unpopular. With all due respect, John, I think you will find that starvation is much more unpopular. Without the support of New Davenport, food reserves will dwindle. In a few months, the citizenry of Earth will be no more than a hungry mob. Then how popular do you think you will be? What choice do I have? No more playing nice with the media. No more coddling the people. Tell them what's going to happen to them if we don't respond, and you will find them more than supportive of my methods. Give me martial law. You murdering son of a bitch, how did you escape custody? You must have me mistaken for someone else. No, I don't think so. You were there on the King's Arch. You destroyed the Hawkeye. I should have you arrested again. I'm calling the guard. That would be unfortunate. There would be consequences for the people you care about, Heyman. You psychopath. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? I'm just saying. Accidents have a way of happening, perhaps to a certain commander. You're a lying bastard. My mistake, then. Go ahead. Call the guard. I'm sure it's just a simple paperwork error that caused me to be released from a high-security prison. It happens all the time. Here, you can even use my phone. So you see why someone such as yourself should be careful when choosing his words. But accidents can also be avoided. I have need of someone who can do the odd favor for me. What do you want from me? I'll get back to you on that. Be safe, Captain. The Rebels have amassed quite a large force, and the shipyards on New Davenport will continue churning out new ships for them to use. The shipyards could be sabotaged. Possibly. It would be better to capture them and use them ourselves. Are you familiar with Miss Montag? I believe she is a high-level executive for the Elmore Mining Corporation. She has been spending a lot of time with the Prime Minister. That makes sense. We do need Ukasic fuel. You're imagining that the Prime Minister is like us, and has the sense to curry favor with required allies. Instead, I fear that she is the one who has all too much favor with him. Should we eliminate her? No, not yet. As you say, we do need the fuel. But we have received a call for help from Elmore's moon. The Moon is seeking military protection from the rebels on the planet, so the fleet will be leaving at 0800 hours. You wouldn't believe who I ran into at HQ. Who? That murdering bastard Smith! Somehow he's loose and can wander our halls with impunity. 
Did you try arresting him? Well, of course I did, damn it. And it didn't go so well? No. No. He clearly has influence somewhere. Then how do we get him? I don't know. I don't think we can. Elaine, I'm starting to think that the government we support is corrupt. And we can't do anything about it. Remember when you gave me this? You said to carry it with me so I'd always have a reminder of why I'm out here. Don't forget why you are out here, too. <laughs> that, that was a joke, Commander. I gave that to you as a joke. It's not a joke to me. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. But you've got to be some kind of crazy to serve on a military vessel in this era. I don't know if I'm crazy enough to keep shooting at civilians. It was easier when I was sure we were right. How can I be sure now? There's a way to uncover this plot, and we'll find it. Just forget I said anything. Keep yourself out of trouble. I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're watching. Oh, just some old movie. Not sure I like it much. No aliens. Oh, yes, it's that one. No aliens, but pretty good. Not everything is improved by aliens, you know. How did the meeting go? Big operation planned tomorrow. I'll brief you on it in an hour. Enjoy the rest of the movie. Why are you here? No reason. I, I... The Admiral! She has to die! What is the plan? I don't know. I will just pay the job to get off. I don't know who for or what they're doing. Is that it? Yes! home again. For now, Captain. Just remember, the Governor sent us here for a reason. Thank you for reminding me of my own mission, Miss McDonald. Now sit down and get back to whatever it is you keep drawing. I have a battle to win. The enemy ships are saying the Moon will not join our cause, and they're demanding we turn back at once. I'm sure they are. Signal the fleet to attack. What can I do for you? 
bounty hunters. Who has been hired lately? Oh, they get hired all the time. All sorts of jobs. The good ones. For a high-profile target. Uh, oh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Names would be a good start. Wait, wait. I, I, I did hear something. A, a woman named Cowles. She got hired yesterday for, for a hit on some ranking government person. Thank you. Tell no one, or I'll be back. The enemy ships are trying to pull back. Finish them. Captain. What? A fleet just jumped into orbit of Elmore. That's their flagship. Signal them. Huh. Still alive, I see. You and your ships are ordered to stand down and surrender immediately. If you fail to comply, then Elmore will suffer the consequences. Still singing the same old song. Tell the fleet to come about. We have a real fight on our hands. Launch fighters, stand by to release the weapon. The enemy ships have given up their position around the moon and are moving toward us. So I see. Still plenty of time to do what we came here for. Move the fleet to a position between us and the moon. Then deploy the ion cannon. The cannon is in position and locked onto the target. Very good. Shouldn't we give the planet a chance to surrender? No, I don't think that would be necessary. Fire. My God! I saw it. Now you see why we have to stop her at any cost. I have the Admiral for you, Captain. Show me. You've seen what I can do to Elmore cities. Surrender your ships. If you want to play a game of terror, fine. Just remember, you're playing against terrorists. Close the channel. Signal the fleet to jump, but let's leave a little surprise for those people on the moon. They've all gone. It will do for now. See if you can locate someone in charge of the planetary defense forces, and we'll find out how much fight they have left in them. Have marine transport standing by to secure the surface. Admiral! Nuclear detonations on the moon! There were four million people down there. The rebels must have launched those nukes cold, so we couldn't detect them. I'm impressed. For people who accuse me of objectionable methods, they're quick to use them themselves. Good evening. That was a muscle accent. Very effective stuff. What do you want? Your limbs are already paralyzed. In a few minutes, you'll be unable to speak. Before then, tell me everything about your latest job. You do know the heart is a muscle too, and very soon it will be too relaxed to even beat. I am told the experience is quite painful, although I have yet to see the effects myself. I have the antidote. So one way or the other, you'll be showing me something new. The rebels. They wanted an admiral dead. That much I know. It won't happen now. 
My scout didn't show up. I know that too. So you took the first ship to Crossroads in order to escape? Yes. There is nothing else to say. The mission failed. Coming after you was a waste of time. The antidote, you said. I lied. I know what you're gonna say. Yasuko's new weapon didn't give us much choice. That weapon surprised us. Our intelligence network was unaware of its existence. I can draw her fleet away, and Elmore will be free again soon. Good. The board is not happy with the setback. We should head to Crossroads. And why should we go there? There's a man, Waresh. I've heard of him. He'd be good to have on our side. Yes, he would. But from what I've heard, he doesn't take him. So, what would you suggest? Helm, set coordinates for Crossroads Station. Did you know EMC's profits have quadrupled since Titan was destroyed? We need to leave. War is coming. This is your plan to get us off the station? D these, these people betrayed my daughter! I'm sorry, Cynthia. She gave us no choice. No choice, my- Cynthia, we don't have time for this. Waresh, what was so important that you had to have us drop the last job you gave us? I need to be off the station. Where is Adam? He went to pick up a few things. Why? Get him back now. We need to get away from here. This is the Alliance ship Mikado to Crossroads Station. We don't want any trouble. We're just here to pick someone up and we'll be gone. Think they'll believe that? Doesn't matter. Where can I find Warish? I remember them saying they met him at a bar in a shopping district. We'll start there. Have some men meet us at the airlock. Tell them to be well armed, just in case. Everyone stay out of our way and you'll not be harmed. We're looking for Waresh. Has anyone seen him? Where's the bar? Over here. Is it here? Yeah, what is it? The Elizabeth jumped in. Governor McKenzie is wanting to see you. Tell him to wait. We're busy down here. His ship is already docking. What? Fine, tell him we're in some dive on level... Who is this? Relax, he's the guy who broke me out. I, I thought you got captured. 
I escaped. Isn't this one of the people that had you locked up in the first place? Catherine. Not interested. Is this your idea of minimizing violent behavior? What kind of support do you think we'll get if you go around acting like this? Ah, oh, Governor. You might not like our methods, but they're very effective. Are they? Destroying Elmore's moon. Murder and terror here. Catherine, I didn't expect this from you of all people. I have no choice but to place you both under arrest. Men, seize them! I'm afraid it is you, Governor, who is under arrest. Someone take him back to my ship and throw him in the brig. This is treason! No, this is new leadership for the Alliance. I'll deal with you later. He was right about one thing. This isn't working here. We're not going to find Waresh. Perhaps. I'm starting to like your style of doing things. We don't need him. The two of us lead the Alliance now. You're our public face. I command the troops. Let's rally the fleet and go straight for Earth. These people are going to warn them we're coming. You're right. Kill everyone here. Wait. You were the one who told me any costs, Catherine. This doesn't look like the captain's ship. It's not. I don't work for him. A spy? Inside. Who are you? We're leaving. Launch the ship. Not without my husband. British guy. Scruffy jacket. Where is he? Dead. I get to the controls. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fly this thing? Probably. Let's go. Where's the governor? He's aboard the other ship and gave me command here. Prepare to depart and set course for New Devonport. Catherine, isn't it? It's Captain! Carry out my orders or I'll have you removed. Yes, Captain. Hold on. There's a civilian ship pulling away just in front of us. Show me! That ship! Lock weapons! They're civilians! Ethan! Fire! Fire everything! No way they survived that. Probably being scattered across deep space right now. Good. Now get us out of here. No more problems from the surface? Admiral, the rebels are going to attack Earth. Possibly as soon as tonight. Signal the fleet. Tell them to plot jump coordinates. Prepare for battle. Where are we? Looks like Lubyanka. 
This system is under quarantine. We won't be welcome here. It's also not where I said to take us. That hit we took knocked us off course. You should be glad we ended up somewhere close by. To jump us to Earth. The drive needs some patching up before we can go anywhere. The cruiser and system can help. Fly us there. You did well with your discovery. The outcome of this battle will decide who wins the war. Tomorrow this should be all over. With that much at stake, they'll fight hard. Very hard. Be careful out there. You really do care for me, don't you? There's no ship. What do you mean, no ship? Where is it? All I see is some debris. That is not my biggest concern, however. Why not? The sensors show the entire surface of the planet has been incinerated. Didn't you say the other rebels did something like this to Elmore? Elmore's moon. And it wasn't like this. Wait, there's another ship. It just jumped in. Rebels? Not sure. No, I don't think so. I know that ship. It was at Crossroads a few months back. A long-distance surveyor, I think, investigating far-off planets. What are they doing here? Contact them. Maybe they can help us. Or maybe they destroyed the colony. No choice. Make the call. Transport ship, this is the Mayflower. Do you have long-range communications? No. Our ship has suffered damage. We hoped you could help us with repairs. More important than fixing your ship. It is vital we get the word out. They are coming for Earth. And I don't know what they'll do when they get there. Looks like we got here before them, Admiral. Yes, Lieutenant. But they won't be far behind us. Put me through to the fleet. This is Admiral Yasuko to all ships. You all know why we have returned to Earth. You all saw what the enemy did to Elmore's moon. They are coming here to do the same thing to our home. Launch fighters. To the world that gave us birth. Ready to save the world too? Always am. The lives of everyone on the planet below depend on us today. We cannot fail them. They'll fight hard, but we can defeat them. And tomorrow we will no longer be at war. Good hunting to you all. Yasuko out. The other ships have begun launching their fighters. Good. Launch hours. I think they're here. Have the long range cannons lock onto their biggest vessels and. Those aren't rebel ships. It can't be. Get me the Admiral now. Admiral? I see them, Captain. Are they hostile? Can we even hurt them if they are? Everything can be destroyed with enough firepower. They're heading straight for Earth. I don't like it, Admiral. Neither do I. All ships move to intercept. They're still coming! 
Praetorian to fleet, break and attack! This is an unexpected twist. But such a brilliant one! Should we help them? The Navy or the Unknowns? Either one. Why would we want to do that? Best we don't get involved. It gives us the perfect opportunity to act elsewhere. Let's watch for a little while first. some kind of shields. I know, I know. Keep firing. They can't hold forever. Captain! Whatever they hear us with is burning through the hole like acid. Damage report! Critical damage across all decks. Systems failing, and the reactor is unstable. This is the captain. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. You're coming too. Oh yes, just giving them a little surprise first. Go, go. Are you still there, too? Just about. Everything we have. It's no good. We can't get through their shields. <laughs> 